Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with another process video. Um, I have a sketch that I'm going to be working with and it is a sketch by somebody who I create um, layouts based on their sketches at least once a week if not more. Um, but I have never done a process video with her sketch before so I thought that I would do that today. I did get prior approval and this will be posting on Friday April the 8th which is the day that it will go live on her um, website and her website is scrapbookingwithannemarie.com. It is a um, there is a free and a paid membership side to it and there's lots of tutorials lots of challenges prompts fun and games you can do as much or as little as you want in the group um, like I said there's a paid side that has added benefits like um, more tutorials um, PDFs and videos um, with the process of them she also has um, zoomies um, where we get together and we craft together and we talk. We have become a really uh, close family who are welcoming new family members in. And um, it's just a really great, inspiring and um, special place. And so if you're looking for a scrapbook family, I highly suggest that you check out even if you just check out the uh, non-paid side first to get a feel for what we do. There's something every month. Um, we did um, uh, a summer camp last summer. We've done um, Christmas themed things, uh, just all sorts of things. So this month in particular is fabulous because it is our birthday. So. Anne Marie started on April the 1st, and you may know her if you are a member on Facebook of Scrapbooking um, the Day Away. She started that, and that is where I initially met her and some most of the ladies um, that are in the group, that um, the paid membership, and I'm assuming a lot of the ones that are on the non-paid membership side too. But anyway, um, that is where I met her, so you may recognize that name. So the other really cool thing, and this is gonna make noise, these are charms, and I have showed these before, some of them. These are charms that I receive every time I scrapbook a certain amount of layouts. Now, if you know anything about me, I am a scrapbooking fool. I don't sleep, I neglect my family. <laughs> Um, I pretty much quit cooking, you know, whatever. So, because during the last couple of years, this pandemic has been just crazy and I've just been looking for joy and I really have found it in scrapbooking. So, I receive a charm for every so many layouts that I create and Anne Marie sends them. She sends lots of other little fun goodies. Um, oh, I got something stuck on the bottom of that one. Um, so this is just one of the side benefits um, to our get-togethers and of course it's all virtual right now we have people all across the world um, who join us from South Africa and London and you know England I'm um, all those well all the different places London is in England I know that guys don't worry anyway <clears throat> so with that said I'm putting these back that is noisy now <laughs> With that said, because it is our birth month, we are focusing on birthdays. Now, that doesn't mean you have to scrap up birthdays. I've already seen one of these that one of our design team did, and she used a Christmas tree instead of a party hat. Um, so, super cool. I am, however, going to stick with the birthday theme because I just celebrated my son's birthday while we were on vacation at the beach. So I have a layout or a picture that I want to document. And my picture is not vertical, it is horizontal. So I'm gonna adjust this a smidge. Um, Anne Marie is quite familiar <laughs> with me adjusting things. Uh, so anyway, um, like I said, this is by Anne Marie Bryant. And this is April the 8th design team sketch. And this is posted every Friday. She posts a new design team sketch with our design team layout. 
and she posts those on the free membership site. So this is something you would get if you got on www.scrapbookingwithannemarie.com. So not something from the paid side. You would get this every Friday. And I love it. And she totally encourages us to do our own thing. And we definitely do. We even have somebody who creates a card almost every um, week with the um, sketch in mind as well. So it is super cool. So now with all of that said, here is my picture. Like I said, it is a birthday themed picture and it is horizontal instead of vertical, like in the sketch. I'm obviously not going to turn the whole thing on its head, um, because the party hat. So I'm just going to have this go across. So there's that. Ooh. I am going to use one of my favorites, the Buenos Dias by Ovid Marshall. Um, I just got a new ephemera pack, and so I there were some like birthday cake um, embellishments that I wanted to use, and I thought this would be perfect. There's also some banners and stuff. So um, I'm just going to go through briefly what I've got here, um, just because you're going to see it as I go through. Noisy. I have my 6 by 8 paper pad. These are just some of the individual papers. Branding strips, scraps, that kind of stuff. This is what I have left of my chipboard. Uh, not a whole lot. I do have plans to use some of these in upcoming layouts, but probably not on this layout. Um, if I still had my birthday balloons, certainly, but they are some in here. Um, this is a, such a cool um, foil on printed acetate. and I am going to find a way to use this. If you all have ideas please, please, please post those below because I've seen some things and I'm going to have to look up some more videos because it's so cool. And I have another one. Um, I think it's a Vicky Booten one and I just want to do them justice. And then I have the project pad. So I still have some stickers on my project pad. Um, I think I will use a couple of these. Um, not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure I'll use a couple things out of here. And then I already pulled my papers because I knew I'd be running my mouth a little bit more than I normally do <laughs> in a sketch. So I plan on using this as my base strip. I created my birthday party hat already on my Cricut and I am going to do some inking and stuff for this so that it stands out a little bit more. Um, and then all these papers um, are so, so bright and bold and fabulous. Um, and then I'm, instead of the stars she has, I made little ribbons because he's putting a ribbon on in the layout. And then they are all going to be matted on these little white, um, borders. And then I even went ahead and cut out a, um, photo mat and I went and cut out these things in the middle because the picture is going to cover that up. And I am going to use this as my background, my matted page, and this as the inside. So all of my busy papers are going to go here. Now, as I go, if this doesn't look right after I get it together, then we'll just have to maneuver. It'll be fine. So, with all of this and my fabulous sketch by Anne Marie and all my fabulous embellishments that are all Buenos Dias in here and my lovely little picture. I'm going to see how this goes. All right. So the first thing is, um, you can see right here, I cut the, um, outside of the, um, party hat on this paper and I moved it into the middle from my Cricut so that I could use it to mat my paper. And I apologize for my voice. I have been talking way too much today. I also used my paper mat or picture mat to cut some of those ribbons. So I am all about saving space and saving paper. Um, even though I have quite a bit, although nowhere near as much as I once did, um, I do not want to waste even the littlest bit of this awesome paper. So I was a little concerned with how this looked at first because it was very similar in color. But I, honestly, you all, I love the way this layout turned out. Um, it is a lot 
more fantastical than I even imagined. And you can see how excited I am because I was clapping for myself. So I decided to ink the side of the party hat and the circle and that's inked in vintage photo. I just distressed it a little bit and then I used um, ripe persimmon also in distress ink by Tim Holtz to ink that strip of paper. So there's some definition between the party hat which has that background paper of the like the bottles and stuff. And then I put my picture down here and I also end up inking that with the, the vintage photo. So I'm super excited with the way that um, all these papers, I mean, obviously I knew they were going to match, but I was worried that they were going to all disappear together. So I started to put my picture flat on the page and just then changed my mind and decided to pop it up on some fun foam. So, and it is actual fun foam from Walmart. It is the adhesive type on one side. I did have a catastrophe while trying to get that done. Um, I spilled my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. And so I luckily cut all that out for you. I normally leave my mistakes and boo-boos in, but that took me forever <laughs> to clean up. Um, but I did not waste much. I used it to get the um, fun foam attached to my picture. So, hey. All right, so I inked all three of these ribbons, two of them in the vintage photo and one in the right persimmon. And I put the fun foam on the back, actually just regular foam, on the back of this one at the bottom so that it wouldn't be double fun, uh, double foam. So where it meets the picture, the foam begins. And so I just tuck these little ribbons in. Now, I don't know if you can tell, in the picture, my son, I, we got him a ribbon that says, like, birthday boy or something. And he's pinning it on his shirt. Um, he turned 13 and on the 17th of March, and we went to the beach for spring break about a week and a half later, and we had a little mini surprise birthday party for him at the beach with our family. So it was lots of fun. So I'm curving up the ends of the ribbon just a smidge. I don't want to really curve it too much and give too much dimension, but I did want to bring a, like a little bit of a lift on the end of the ribbons. So, and the ribbons were cut out of my Cricut, and then I cut little circles to go in the middle because there's a circle in the middle of the ribbon he's got on. And I thought that would give me, um, not necessarily a solid, but a little bit of a different color to bring in. So now I'm getting out my embellishments. I am so excited. Um, those little tags are a little sneak peek. I am about to do a layout for one of my... Um, process videos and it's got lots of tags in it and there are I believe what I'm going to be working with not sure I could change my mind so I'm going through all of the titles that are possible um, this one that said fun times was more of a dark teal and I didn't want to pull that in there's not a lot of it on this um, so I really love this incredible moment it's got all the colors from the papers and it brings all of that over to the right corner and I love these balloons. These were in the ephemera pack and as well as the incredible moments. So I put the balloons up on foam where I'm going to. I'm going to put the balloons on foam and then the ribbon or the string will just be taped to the picture. And I really love the way it turns out. Um, I take from the puffy stickers a little plate with a piece of cake on it because that's what's in front of him. And I also take a little yellow heart with a yellow circle with a red, uh, pinkish colored heart and put that in one of the ribbons. And then right here is one of the acrylics and it says cool. And yes, I know it's pink. My son doesn't care. Pink's one of his favorite colors. So I knew that I could use this collection to scrapbook him and he would not care. And I really, really, really love the way this title kind of nestles in with the balloons I move it a little bit more um, and you can see every bit of that there is no question what it says or anything like that so um, I'm super excited about how that turned out and so then I put some of the little enamel looking epoxy dots up at the top right next to the title one's got a camera and the other just bluish green colors and so 
I always try and spice things up a little bit. So I bring in some of my favorite Delusions Shimmer Sprays. This is um, white linen and it will dry flat on the page. It looks bubbled up a little bit when I show you the close-ups, but it will sink into the page and I'm okay with that. If I really want some dimension later, I can go back and add some enamel accents. Um, so I was holding my bottle really tight because after I had the big spill with my glue, I did not need another boo-boo. <laughs> so I'm really excited about how that turned out. And then I remember there's this little banner that I want to put down. I mean, there's a banner on the wall behind my son, or on the window, actually. That window looks out to the beach. So I know I've already inked down here a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And I put this banner down, trim the little part that's going to um, not be seen. And I do put that back on my sticker sheet because, and that came out of the project pad because I will use that, um, even though it's just like two little flags. So, and then I start building a little cluster down at the bottom left corner or the bottom left of the um, party hat. And it just kind of disappears. I put a car down there because we did drive 10 hours to the beach for this um, vacation. So this wasn't just a little party at home. We actually were on vacation. And so I didn't like how that disappeared. So I pulled this little blue travel and it's got gold on it, which matches the gold in the banner. And um, I put that down first and that also came from the project pad. And then the little car and the two hearts are puffy stickers from the puffy collection or the puffy sticker sheet. So um, I got those down and I love that because that blue brings that dark blue from the balloon down to that corner as well. And then gives me more of that triangle that everybody um, typically, well, a lot of people will um, aim for. It definitely looked like it was too weighted on the right side. So here is the sketch from Anne Marie. Please, please, please go check out her website. Uh, like I said, uh, you can join the free membership and get lots of great inspiration and awesome people. And um, if you like it, you can always join the paid membership. So here are the close-ups. I will have her link below. I hope that you all will come and visit us and just say hello when you come in. I can't wait for the next layout. And um, I just really, really love how this turned out, you all. So I hope that you like it. It will be posted on her website Friday the 8th of April. So I hope you all have a great day. I hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping. <laughs>